Welcome to Data Talk, presented by IDEA Data and Research. Data stands for Data Analysis Techniques Applied. Data Talk is a series of videos for Arkansas's local education agencies on the use of data, particularly for special education staff. The series will cover the basic concepts of data, including understanding data sources, context of the data, analytical techniques, and the reporting of IDEA data. In this episode, we are going to discuss the importance of timely and accurate data and documentation. Besides the cycle data submissions and verification periods, the untimely submission of required documents can lead to the issuance of non-compliance findings and even long-standing non-compliance when deadlines are missed. The Office of Special Education Programs at the U.S. Department of Education, also known as OSEP, has a regulatory requirement to ensure all submissions are timely and accurate. All submissions include the 618 data submissions, such as early childhood and school age child count, early childhood and school age environments, discipline, coordinated early intervening services, and comprehensive coordinated early intervening services, school age exits, dispute resolution, and personnel, as well as the State Performance Plan and Annual Performance Report, the state's IDEA application, and any requested documents by the due dates. As we continue looking at the OSEP requirements around timely and accurate data, failure to meet accuracy or deadlines can result in receiving a lower annual performance report's results-driven accountability determination, being classified as a high-risk grantee, having state's funding be directed for specific use, or even being flagged for additional monitoring. The state's application of the timely and accurate requirement includes all submissions must be timely and accurate, e-school and e-finance submissions in cycles one through nine, budgets, including your IDEA application, CCEIS toolkit and application, the annual performance report self-assessments for indicators four, nine, and 10, Response Table to Results-Driven Accountability Determination, the Special Education Monitoring Deadlines, Dispute Resolution Deadlines, and Special Education Finance Deadlines. As we continue looking at the state's application of timely and accurate requirements, all student level and systemic noncompliance must be corrected as soon as possible, but no later than one year. This includes the required documentation of evidence that the noncompliance has been corrected. If the one-year timeline is missed, the LEA will be placed into long-standing noncompliance. States are required to use timely and accurate reporting in the local education agency's annual performance report determinations. In Arkansas, this is scored on a scale of zero to four points. If everything is submitted on time, the LEA is given four points. If one requirement is late or inaccurate, the LEA is given three points. If two requirements are late or inaccurate, the LEA is given two points. If there are three or more requirements that are late or inaccurate, the LEA is given one point. If the data or required information is not submitted, or a finding of noncompliance is issued, then the LEA is given zero points. Things that you should consider to ensure timely and accurate reporting. Keep a special education reporting calendar for the school year. Have it marked with eSchool and eFinance requirements, the MySped resource review periods, when the private school count is due, when the Early Childhood Services Survey is do, family surveys, and the high risk cost of student enrollment and submission. Also, if you are up for monitoring, know your time frame and completion deadlines. 
Also, add new dates to the calendar when new items arise. The SBP APR self-assessment notifications are released in April and usually are due in May. CCEIS notifications are released in December with requirements being due March 31st. If you received a notice of pre-findings from a monitoring or finance, if you received a letter of findings from monitoring and finance, received a notice of a complaint or hearing, and your annual performance report results-driven accountability to determinations are released in May with a requirement to complete a response table, usually by June 30th. Thank you for viewing this episode of Data Talk. We hope you have found it to be helpful and will join us for upcoming Data Talk episodes. Our contact information is IDEA Data and Research, University of Arkansas at Little Rock, 2801 South University Avenue, Stabler Hall, 406, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72204. Our phone number is 501-916-3219. Our fax number is 501-916-3238. If you have questions, you can contact Dr. Jody Fields at jafields at ualr.edu.